Today I'm going to demonstrate the Tenmar 72-10480 Laboratory Bench Power Supply. Now this is available in the UK from CPC for just a few pennies over £50, including tax and delivery, which I think is something of a bargain. And one very important thing to realise about this power supply, which is not stated on any website that I've seen or on any of the technical data sheets, is that it is a linear power supply. It is not a switch mode device. There's a big heavy transformer in the middle of it, and hence it is very suitable for supplying any loads which require a clean and reasonably noiseless power supply. The output voltage is variable up to 30 volts and up to 3 amps and the on off switch is a proper hard switch that isolates the main supply to the device. There is a fan in the back of it that runs which is fairly quiet and it has five memories which are available on these buttons here to enable you to memorise particular setups and configurations. The upper display displays the voltage and the lower display displays the current. To alter the displays you press this button. First press enables you to change the voltage. We'll put this up to 12 volts. These but left and right buttons enable you to select the significant digit. So we set it to 12 volts. We press again to set the current and we'll increase that to half an amp. After a few seconds the figure stops flashing and the output is then fixed. And that's quite useful because it means that once you've set it it can't be adjusted by mistake. You have to press the button first. That's quite a useful safety feature. The output terminals are not switched on until you press the on off button there, which means you can adjust the settings without any output on the output terminals. And when you switch the power supply on, the output terminals are off by default. Now we'll test it with a little resistor, a little 25 watt uh, resistor here. If we turn the output on, the current display changes from the maximum current that it's been set to, to the actual current that's drawn, and you can see it's drawing just under a quarter of an amp. I've tested these um, displays uh, with my digital multimeter, and it seems to be fairly accurate, very close indeed so you can use them to, to actually measure the, the current. The power supply will operate in constant current and constant voltage mode and it's got over current protection and over voltage protection which will actually cut off the output when the, um, the parameter exceeds uh, the setting. So let's imagine that this is a, a piece of equipment that we're wanting to test and we don't want it to draw more than um, say 200 milliamps. So first of all we set our maximum current to 200 milliamps and then we wind the voltage back to a fairly low level, let's say 5 volts. Turn the power supply on and at 5 volts it's drawing just over 100 milliamps. So we will slowly increase the voltage and we'll increase it in tenth of a volt steps and as you can see the current is gradually increasing as we wind up the voltage and once it gets to 200 milliamps the current won't increase anymore and the voltage won't go up. Well, the voltage, voltage goes up but the current stays constant. And as we wind back, 
we can see it is around about nine and a half volts that it hits the set current. So let's demonstrate the overcurrent protection now. If we press overcurrent protection, the lamp comes on there. Now what will happen now as we increase the voltage is that the supply will actually be cut off when we exceed the set current, which is 200 milliamps. There it's gone. It's disconnected itself. So there is a very brief demonstration of this power supply. It's a, a nicely finished unit. I've not really found any snags with it and I think it makes a, a very useful addition to any experimenter's bench where you need a, a power supply that gives you a variable voltage and provides good protection against overcurrent when you're experimenting with new circuits.